Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If you are someone who enjoys talking about film, how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're going to be talking about Netflix's newest film, Enola Holmes. <laughs> Enola Holmes is rated PG-13, is two hours and three minutes long. It was released on Netflix September the 23rd. It's actually based off of a series of books of the same name. Uh, now, Enola Holmes is actually Sherlock Holmes' a little sister. I did not even know Sherlock had a little sister. So Millie Bobby Brown, who is most well known for playing Eleven off of Stranger Things, plays Enola Holmes. It's Sherlock Holmes, who is played by Henry Cavill. And Sam Claffin actually is very unrecognizable in this movie. It took me a minute to realize who he actually actually was and I'm like what with his very menacing little mustache plays the oldest Holmes brother Minecraft and Helena Bowen Carter is actually the mama of the three now this is again Enona Holmes's movie this is her story so don't expect too much out of Sherlock I only see that kind of went the Sherlock Holmes fanatics to be all upset like well where's Sherlock Holmes and why is he not more in the story and blah 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 this is again Enola Holmes's movie so Sherlock is just a side character in this film Enola is actually alone spelled backwards mom really isn't to like deciphering like those codes and shit you know which I would be absolutely terrible at Mycroft and Sherlock they're not really in the story too much they're of course the older brothers they left pretty early on when the when Enola was little mom just you know raised her on her own the dad had passed away when you was very young and the mom is very like carefree and very much a feminist and you know didn't really teach you know how to be a, a lady which of course later on in the movie we do have certain situations with now you know that Holmes does have more of that feminist kind of feel to it I don't feel like it really like tries to pound you on that message like a lot of other movies do but it definitely does have a little feel to that because again you know it is more of a carefree you know like doesn't really know how to do the typical embroidering view I'm pretty sure I'm saying that shit wrong you don't know how to embroider <sighs> but that was like a big gas deal in this type of world you know she was more on fighting and stuff from the trailer we do know that you know I just turned 16 and the mom actually ends up disappearing on hers which is her first detective deal of finding her mom and uh, we do get of course the brothers coming back to try to help now as I said early on who does start in the movie it is a very nice cast honestly I feel like nobody really overshadowed anybody mainly Bobby Brown just really held her own and this is really the first like big real role I think that we've seen her in outside of uh, Stranger Things. I know she was in Godzilla a couple years ago but honestly I wasn't really oh was it last year? I don't know. Whenever that was. I really don't think her script was really that great to be honest with you and she truly truly shined in this role you guys. One of the things that I feel like a lot of people may have issues with is that Nona actually does break that fourth wall and she is talking to the audience. I know a lot of people are not fond of that happening. I don't mind it. It just has to be done in a specific way because there's sometimes that it really does get overdone or it just really really doesn't work some people may not know what that is but it's really when the character is talking to you if you've seen Deadpool Deadpool does it all the time um apparently this has been compared to Fleabag a lot I personally never seen that show I really want to see because I've heard it's really really good but apparently the main character in that show does break that fourth wall and does it absolutely brilliantly so you guys let me know down below do you guys like the fourth wall breaking are you guys not fond of it now the movie itself does have I think like two or three plots going around with it the main plot obviously was in law trying to go and find her mom and then she kind of stumbles up upon this uh prince or not really a prince this monarchy whatever the hell he is king i don't know i hope i'm not giving you guys a spoiler with that that is in spoiler alert you know she's helping this boy out and so then it kind of sidetracks her from her main purpose of finding the mom and then there's like another little uh like storyline with the brothers and then i guess you can say there's one when the school happens so there is quite a bit going on we have of course a little romance because we do need some little romance going in here as well one of the things i do like about that whole romance situation is that we didn't really linger too much into it we have the jerk brother who is minecraft and i mean he literally is the very jerk this is me with my little mustache very unlikable um again i didn't even realize sherlock had brothers or sisters i he probably mentioned it in the movies or in the show and i just it one of those things that kind of just passed me by that I just didn't really put too much thought into it. We also get a little sprinkle of politics involved in it, hence the, I don't know, is he a prince? A, a king? A duke? 
I don't know you guys they're in fucking London and he's like part of parliament I think it was parliament I don't know he had a seat somewhere <laughs> whatever that is i did like the story i did like the cast um i feel like maybe they should have got somebody different to play sherlock i mean i love henry cavill i really really do but i just don't really feel like he fit the role too much he was a little bit too like superman you know like i feel like the clothes might have been a little bit too tight for his muscular body it worked but i feel like they could have maybe had gone towards a different direction less muscular him i don't really recall like from previous sherlock's robert Downey jr christopher Plummer play him uh benedict cumberbatch and they've never been as fit as him yeah other than that that was really my only like big issue with the movie i really do hope that netflix decides to go ahead and give the green light to the rest of the series the movie you guys honestly was surprisingly good like i had seen the trailer it looked super cute quite honestly i wouldn't have mind to have seen this in theaters like i definitely would have recommend this movie um if it came out in theaters i'm gonna go ahead and give it a medium popcorn and i totally recommend for you guys to see enola holmes it is on netflix it is a really really good time with that said if you've seen enola holmes let me know what you guys thought about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you if you guys have not seen the movie yet of course i totally recommend coming for you guys to see it and of course before you guys click out of this video don't forget to give it a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each other i post something new till next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye